Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today we're blasting Cannibal Corpse, Tomb of the Mutilated, Metal Blade Records. This is a death metal fucking classic. Seriously. I've been trying to grow my hair out like Barnes, but I think he has naturally curly hair. Same with like Webster. Cause I have no idea how to get my hair like that. I end up with fucking dreadlocks and shit. Like the whole back of my head right now is dreaded up. But it's all gravy. But to me this is the ultimate Cannibal Corpse lineup. You have Paul on drums, Rob Rousse on guitar, Barnes on vocals, Webster on bass, and Jack Owen on guitars. I fucking love that lineup. It has that freight train fucking sound. It's just awesome. My only complaint about this reissue, I hate the new Cannibal Corpse logo. I just, I just do. And I know I'm not alone in it, but it doesn't matter because all that really matters are the tunes. And the tunes on here are fucking classic. Cryptic Stench, fuck yeah. Legalize the cryptic stench in America. But today we're going to be talking about some straight up heavy mortician worship. Maggot stomp, fluids, exploitive practices. Fucking A. Now, if you're a fan of Incinerated from Australia, they also took the mortician formula, but made it a lot more serious. Like, if you listen to early Incinerated, they had the drum programming and everything, but when they went to lobotomize, that was all cut out and it was just straightforward, brutal as fuck mortician worship. And fluids do the same thing, but Instead of horror movie samples, you have some of the gnarliest samples in the fucking game. Seriously, this is something where it sounds like you're listening to some of the grossest porn at full volume at times. And that's one little warning I'm going to give you. And there's even a little warning here, but... It's a tongue-in-cheek joke, but at the same time, I would take this kind of seriously because a friend of mine, I'm not going to drop names, but he was telling me that another friend of his is like one of the biggest mortician fans on the planet, but refuses to listen to fluids because they use like real samples and whatnot, and... I guess it was just a little too extreme for him, for lack of a better word. And, you know, stop the weak shit. Weak shit is no fun. Weak shit endangers the lives and happiness of millions. It must stop. We appeal in particular to the young cavemen and women of today. Life is better with no weak shit. Maggot Stomp supports the Caveman Shit Campaign in the fight against weak shit. Join us. So if you can get your hands on a copy of this, prepare yourself to get caught, shot, chopped, wrapped, and hauled before you're dumped, displayed, doused, seared, and scattered. Absolutely devastatingly heavy shit on here. At times, it's almost just straight noise. And I mean that in the best way possible. Like the drum machines just at full fucking blast and the vocals are so barbaric and inhuman. The bass tone is exactly what you would want out of a band that definitely worships the altar of Mortician. But... I found this to sound a lot more like Incinerated. But Incinerated sounds like Mortician, so everything goes full circle. But at the end of the day, fluids sound like fluids. 
from the carcass inspired cover. I mean, it's fucking sick. It's brutal death metal for fans of brutality. Like, there's nothing on here that's like, you know, at all tame. This is savage as fuck. It's also heavy as fuck. And, you know, I don't really like using the term knuckle dragging, but on hauled. The last song on side one. It has one of the heaviest, most ignorant, but awesome riffs ever. It's the riff every band wants to write right now. It's just one of those, like, seriously, you can just picture some Neanderthal out, like, with a fucking club, like, you know what I mean? Like, it's fucking so on the money, and fluids are probably the most banned band when it comes to social media as well. I think they have, like, nine Instagram accounts because they just get canceled, canceled, canceled. If this shit offends you, then don't listen to death metal music. Like, I don't know what to fucking tell you. I mean, yeah, they obviously push the boundaries when it comes to some of their covers and whatnot. Like, Exploited Practices is very, very tame in comparison to some of the um, split cover artwork and some other stuff. But, like, I really do love this, you know, nod to early carcass and whatnot. And a lot of bands obviously have done this. But this is just an awesome collage, and it's fucking great. But I really, really love the fucking production on here because it is savage as fuck. It's awesome. It's heavy as f it gets. I don't think it can get much heavier than exploitive practices when it comes to this styling of modern death metal. It's fucking awesome. Like, it really is. But, if you're a fan of, you know, bands like Necrophagist, Later Error Death, you're looking in the wrong place for your fix right now. Trust me, like, as awesome as this is, if you're a fan of, like, progressive death metal, this is not for you, unless you actually love all types of death metal and have an open mind. I know a lot of fans of progressive death metal, you can't talk them out of shit. It's like dealing with a Beatles fan. And I'm sorry if you like the Beatles, but I swear every Beatles fan I have ever met just swears by, they're the best band ever, I don't give a fuck what you say, you, you can't change my mind, blah, 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 blah. Again, I don't give a fuck. I'm not the Eggman. Cuckoo, cuckoo, or whatever. I, I, I don't get it. Like, I really... <laughs> I mean, in my opinion, Ringo Starr is probably one of the luckiest drummers ever. Seriously. Ringo just... It's just keeping rhythm, and he happened to be in what ended up being the biggest band in the world. I mean, that must be pretty awesome, you know? He didn't really have to do too much gnarly stuff besides be a Beatle. But fluids are just writing some fucking straight up ignorant but awesome, awesome, brutal death metal. And if you're a fan of brutality in your death metal, you can't go wrong with exploitive practices. With tracks like caught, shot, chopped, wrapped, and hauled, Hall's my personal favorite of this entire comp right here. And I'm pretty sure this has like a mix of demos, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm going off the top of my head here. But these Arizonians are fucking amazing when it comes to what they do here. And you have Jan Grottle on guitars and bass, Walter Hale on synths and drum programming. 
and Cole Jacobson on vocals. Recorded by Walter Hale, mixed and mastered by Jan Grottle and Walter Hale. But on tracks one and two, you have Maddie Way on vocals, Sean Benson of Bothian. I, I forget how to say that band's name. They're fucking sick though. But he has a guitar solo on track one. Matt Gray wrote the lyrics on track two. And it's just fucking sick. Like, it's a very, very enjoyable listen if you're a fan of all things heavy and brutal. And no horror movie samples. So the samples you hear on here, I'm not gonna front. They're, they are fucking gnarly. Especially on shot. Shot is just like, holy fuck. Wow. Like, and some of the other samples are just like, they're, they're gross sounding and you don't really know what's going on. And that's what makes it kind of like even more interesting, I think, because your imagination starts like going with it. Because at one point, like I think Michael Jackson's like playing in the background of what I think is a porn scene being filmed. But I'm not entirely sure. But it's like, in a different language, it's definitely like of Asian descent. And it's just fucking gross sounding. Whatever is going on, it's fucking nasty. And exploitive practices is some nasty, brutal, mortician worshipping death metal on Maggot Stomp. So if you're a fan of Maggot Stomp and you're a fan of Mortician, Fluids has your ass fucking covered here with exploitive practices. Nice hard shell cassette tape. It's fucking sick. This sounds great, by the way. And I'll play a little bit of my favorite song on here, Hauled for You Maniacs. But if you're a fan of Mortician, but the horror movie samples might, you know, get on your nerves sometimes. Don't just go out and buy the final bloodbath session. The final bloodbath session, I'm sorry, it's just... I, I remember when I first bought that CD, I just was like... Alright, back to the, you know, back to packed up for barbecue. Like, I just, I wasn't... I wasn't feeling it. I, I don't know if they like, you know, fixed the production at all. Cause I always thought the production was fucking weird and I don't know. But I do know Fluids, Exploited Practices is bad fucking ass. And if you're a fan of Incinerated, you're gonna love this as well. And same goes with Mortician. But at the end of the day, Fluids also sound like Fluids. Just some straight up gore riddled brutality and it's fucking sick. So if you're a fan of, you know, death metal, get into it. Fluids, exploitive practices on Maggot Stomp. And we were blasting this classic right here, produced by Scott Burns, Cannibal Corpse. Tomb of the Mutilated. Fucking A. Like I was saying, my favorite Cannibal Corpse lineup. So fucking sick. Classic artwork. Just an amazing album. But, as always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. Who? <laughs>